everyone. This is a lesson on income tax. I've written steps for you that you follow when you do a question on income tax. And then I've done an example. With this example, I'm going to follow the steps with you and show you how to do in the exam. Okay, the first step, you must calculate the annual taxable income. Important weights, annual. Tax is calculated per year, so you must calculate the year taxable income. How do you do that? The taxable income is your gross salary minus pension minus UIF minus donation. So it depends on the particular question. You must look for in, in that question, do you have pension? Do you have UIF? Do you have donation? You need to minus them first. And then what will be left with? It will be taxable income. Number two, you state the tax bracket. So when they say the tax bracket, in your question paper, in your annexure, they will give you this table. In this table, they call it a tax bracket because it's not one number. It's from a particular number to a particular number. And then on the side, they are giving you a formula for that tax bracket. So for number three, you use formula. So you're going to use a formula depending on the tax bracket that particular tax is belong to. You'll see with an example, with an example that we're going to use, you'll see how you find the tax bracket and how you use the formula. Number four, they say subtract rebates. The rebates depend on age. So when you look at the there's primary rebate. The rebate is the money that the government or the SARS will give back to you, depending on your age. In this question paper, they gave different years. So you need to look at your question paper properly. Which year are you using? So if you're looking at 2002, the primary rebate, if somebody is age below 65, you're going to subtract that money. If secondary, you subtract both primary and secondary. Why would somebody belong to secondary if they are 65 to 75? Tertiary, if they are 75 and older, will be tertiary. But with a tertiary person, you subtract all three of them. So you subtract 15,700. 48,613 and 2,871 if they belong in the tertiary. It doesn't mean when it's tertiary, you just only subtract that, you subtract all three. Right, your last step, you're going to subtract medical aid. In your formula, in this question paper, they didn't, the medical aid, because they didn't ask it. In your question paper, they will tell you how to subtract the medical aid. Each member, main member, they'll tell you how much to subtract, and then each additional member, how much to subtract. So you really need that annexure and read it properly before you start doing the question, that particular question for text. In our example, we have a story of Mr. Naidu, is a 72-year-old. So this is important, the age of a person who earns a taxable income of 55,250 per month. You really need to read that properly, whether they've given you amount per year or per month. After deductions in 2022 tax year, in this question, they did not give us things that we're supposed to deduct. They've deducted already. So we, in each month, he is getting 55,000. 250 but it has been already deducted okay what are they asking you to, to do they say he claims that a quarter of his annual taxable income is paid to sars verify showing all calculations whether his claim is correct and then they give you seven months so we're gonna follow the steps that i've shown you i've shown to you so that we can we can get the amount that is going to pay for tax and then and see whether his claim is correct that he's paying more than a quarter to sars let's do that right the first step we must calculate the taxable income the taxable income they told us that it's five fifty five thousand two hundred and fifty per month so we have 55,250 times 12 because the annual taxable income per year. So we have 12 months in a year. That's why we calculate it like that. And then we get our calculator. And then we calculate to get that it's 663,000. This is the taxable income per year. Now the second step, we don't we don't subtract pension, they didn't give us UIF, they didn't give us donations, they didn't give us. They actually gave us after they've subtracted it, they've given us taxable income okay step two state tax bracket now we're gonna go to our table and look for the tax bracket right here's our table for tax rates so this amount 663,000 they call it a tax bracket because it's a range of amount so that amount it's more than the last one here because it's 663 this one is 630 so the 663 will be in this that's your 
text packet. Our next step is use the formula. When they say use the formula, this text bracket gives us a formula next to it. The formula, it says 163,335 plus 39% of the taxable income above 613. So I'll show you how you calculate this part. But I also want you to notice that in the tax rate, as you earn more, the percentage that they charge you becomes more. So with us, we are here. So we're going to write those amount there. Now, from the table, you got the 163339 plus 39%. I've got it exactly from the table of how do you do this taxable income above 313. So, you want to take your taxable income, which is 663,000, then minus that 613,600. Your next step is 163,335 plus 39 percent then calculate this money that you're going to calculate 39 percent of so you have six six three zero 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 minus six one three six hundred then you get you get four nine four zero zero then you calculate 39 percent of that amount so you're gonna say multiply by 39 divide by 100 then you get that it is 19,266. Then add the two. Then you get that it is 180,661. Right, our fourth step we subtract rebate. So when we subtract rebate, we subtract from the amount that we got that we are supposed to pay tax. We are actually supposed to pay tax of 182,601. But the government will rebate you, meaning that it will give you money back. So you're going to subtract that money. It's not the money that you're going to pay tax for. Step number four, we are supposed to subtract rebates. And rebates depend on age. That's why I put in age here. You go to your table again. There are the rebates. They say for 2002. So we're going to use that column. Now, you remember I said the age is important. So this person is 72 years old. So when he is 72 years old, we're going to have less rebate. So this money, 182,601. We're going to minus rebate, depending on age. Now he's 72. It means that he's going to... Everyone is getting the primary rebate. The primary rebate is 15,714. But because he's 72, he's going to get the secondary rebate as well. Because it's from 65 years to 74 years. He's 72, he falls in that category. So we're going to minus 8,613 as well. So his tax will be 182,600 minus 15,714 minus 8,613. So his tax will be 150%. 8,274, right? Let's go and read the question properly. He claimed that a quarter of his annual taxable income is paid to SARS. So, a quarter of his annual payable income. His annual payable income was that. So, a quarter of 663,000, a quarter, we're going to divide it by four. He's saying he's paying a quarter of his salary to tax. So when you divide that by four, you get 165,750. Is his claim correct? No, it's not. He's actually paying 158,274. He's claiming that he's paying 165,700. So your answer is they ask you if I show all calculation whether his claim is correct. His claim is correct. No, his claim is not correct. You have shown with your calculations that his claim is not correct. Right, this question was seven marks. Let me show you where they will give you marks. Your first mark will be here for calculating the tax over income. Another mark here for using the tax bracket. And then the third mark here, the fourth mark, we're going to get four using the rebates and calculating the correct amount. One, two, three, four, five. And then the sixth mark is for finding the division. And then the last mark, oh, let me fix my claim. 
it's clearly you have to answer the question they ask you if the claim is correct you have to say it is correct or it's not so no the claim is not correct you get a mark for that so this is how you're going to get your seven marks uh, for this question with this question you really need to read properly and see what you are given okay and i have a i have classes to book a class with me you can visit learnwithza.com this is the at the end of our lesson thank you for watching